Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Vintage Job Sense. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing something interesting. Now, before we start, I'm going to ask you guys a question. What comes to your mind when you hear the word demon? Over the next few seconds, I'm going to tell you what comes to my mind. Something that operates at night, under the cover of darkness, with its red eyes, horns, and hoofed feet. It has hair all over its body and is smelly, ugly, and downright evil. Something that looks like this. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing a different kind of demon. A Yoruba demon. A demon said to operate both during the day and at night. A demon dangerous to women of all ages. A demon said to be mainly after only one thing. The chance to break women's hearts. A demon from descriptions that have been given looks like this. The Yoruba tribe is one of the biggest ethnic groups in Nigeria. They are indigenous to the southwestern region of the country. The Yorubas have a long and storied history traced back to the first millennium BC. The spiritual homeland of the Yorubas is Ileife, which is purported to be the origin of human civilization. The Yoruba culture is extraordinarily rich and vibrant. It has ancient customs and practices that have survived into the 21st century. We need to get to the reason why I'm here today. The you know, widespread stories of Yoruba men breaking women's hearts left, right and centre with reckless abandon. And this has led to them being called Yoruba demons. Now, I've been told that the definition of a Yoruba demon is number one, all men living in Lagos. Apparently, Lagos is the headquarters of the Yoruba demons. <laughs> anyway, number two, sorry, sorry for my lap. Number two, uh, all men that have associated with Yoruba men for at least five years. Number three, all Yoruba men. Now, I won't say anything about these de definitions. I'll just move on. So, moving on. Yoruba men are said to be extremely lethal and have a knack for breaking women's hearts. They are supposedly so lethal that some women have posted videos online to help others identify Yoruba demons and understand their ways. Some of these videos advise women to run for their lives as soon as a Yoruba man approaches them. While some of the advice being dished out is done in jest, some are quite serious. This leads me to the question, do Yoruba men really break women's hearts at rates higher than men from other tribes? Well, only a scientific study can conclusively answer this question. But anecdotally, it is said that Yoruba men win at heartbreaking by a mile. Now, I can't possibly know why Yoruba men choose to engage in activities that lead to women's hearts being broken. But I think I have an idea of why they are able to endear women to themselves despite the widespread warnings about how they are heartbreaking demons. Now, bear with me while I make my case. In Nigeria, in most tribes, male children are more desired and some men will go to any mile or length to have a male child. That said, there are individuals in all tribes that don't care if all their children are girls or if they are all boys. What does this have to do with Yoruba demons? Give me a minute. I'll get there while generalizing liberally. Yoruba fathers used to be unapproachable demigods that were extremely strict and unnecessarily stern. Despite their attitude, they made sure their children didn't lack basic necessities. The children, however, had to look to their mothers for their emotional needs. If the children had additional needs their mother couldn't provide, they had to convince her to get it from their father. Girls had an easier time getting stuff because, well, they were special. Now, for boys to get extra stuff, they had to understand their mothers, learn when to approach her, how to approach her, the right words to say, and many other things that will help them in their quest to get what they want. They begin with their mothers, then grow up and start using their manipulation skills on women not related to them. They know the right thing to say to pique women's interest. They know how to say it. They know the face they need to pull to get the woman to say yes. The list of things they know how to do is endless. For the sake of brevity, just Google Casanova. Women by nature are nurturing, 
men activate their inner baby and give women a big baby to take care of. All I've said is not to excuse what they do. It's just a theory trying to explain how they are so good at what they do. Now that said, being good at getting women to fall in love with you is not an excuse for the reckless heartbreaking being carried out by men in general and some will say you're bad men in particular. Now, I won't share a tincture of sense today. I'm going to leave it to the next episode of the Yoruba Demon Series. We're just scratching the surface of this very interesting phenomenon.